The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Jupiter High takes on Pembroke Pines Charter tonight on School Duel. Welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Jupiter versus Pembroke Pines Charter in what should be quite a showdown. Now, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies, courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. For the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, while well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. World Cities. It is the capital city of New South Wales and is home to a famous bridge spanning its harbor and a famous opera. Yes, Zachary? Sydney. Yes, very good. We are off. Next question deals with chemistry. Oxides are chemical compounds that always contain what element? Yes, Daniel? Oxygen. Yes, very good. Spelling, a statement that could be interpreted in more than one way might be described as ambiguous. Spell the word. Nikhil? A-M-B-I-G-U-O-U-S. Amendments. What amendment to the U.S. Constitution requires senators to be elected by the people rather than appointed by state governors and comes just before the amendment that began the Prohibition era? Yes, Zachary? 21. Incorrect. Pines Charter? Akash? 20th. Incorrect. It's the 17th. Produce. Its name derives from the language of the Aztecs, and it is technically a berry. Yes, Zachary? Maize. Incorrect. Pines Charter. Identify. Daniel? Banana. Incorrect. We are looking for avocado. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the What Am I question brought to you by the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale. Here, our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. Its name means large trumpet in Italian, and it is descended from a Renaissance instrument. Yes, Daniel? Trombone. Yes, very good. Here's a little something about the trombone. That noise you hear when Charlie Brown's teacher speaks to the class or to Charlie Brown is actually a trombone with a plunger mute to create the iconic wonk wonk sound. All right, next question deals with buildings. The Iraqi city of Samara and the Algerian city of Algiers are all places where you would find a great example of what Muslim house of worship, Akash? Mosque. Very good. <laughs> South America. Its major geographic regions include the Andes Mountains and Patagonia. Identify, yes, Alexa? Argentina. Yes, very good. Oh, there's my horn. That means the end of the first strike round. We do have Pines Charter leading. They have 40 points. Jupiter has 20 points. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages.
name is Joseph, and the little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. The first round of action ended with Pines Charter leading. They have 40 points to Jupiter's 20 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm a senior and I'm team captain. Go Warriors! Hi, I'm Alexa and I'm a senior. Go Warriors! Hi, I'm Zachary. I'm a senior. Go Warriors! I'm Theo. I'm a senior at Jupiter High. Go Warriors! Your hands get behind your back. Platform. And uh, if you uh, need any uh, <laughs> other drinks, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get a drink menu for you guys. I personally think I'm gonna glitch. Yeah, me but, too. The buzzer. Ooh, the buzzer may or may not work. We'll see. We are one, one drive. drive. Go, Go Warriors! Warriors. Hi, I'm Nikhil, I'm a junior and the team captain. Go Jaguars! Hello, I'm Daniel, I'm a senior, and go Jaguars! Hi, I'm Akash, I'm a junior, go Jaguars! Hi, I'm Eduardo, I'm a junior, and go Jags! This is how many school duels I've watched. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's being make up or whatever that means. 37, 38, 39, 40. Your name! All spelled correctly? Yes. yes. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56. Huh? <laughs> Jags on the prowl. Go Jaguars! All right, very nice. Let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, The Joust, which is presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Our first to joust will be Sydney and Nikhil. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Although he arranged it by atomic mass rather than atomic number, Dmitry Mendeleev is still considered the father of what chart that, yes, Nikhil? Periodic table. Very good, excellent. We are now with Pines Charter. Pines Charter, the following bonus questions all deal with the periodic table. Bonus question number one. The rightmost column of the table contains what group of elements, including helium, yes, Akash? Noble gases. Very good. Bonus question number two. Just to the left of the inert gases is what group of highly reactive elements? A word derived from the Greek for salt forming. Daniel. Alkaline earth metals. Incorrect, it's halogens. Bonus question number three. As of July 2022, how many elements does a periodic table contain? Nikhil. 119. Incorrect, it's 118. All right, my next two to joust are Alexa and Daniel. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question. Again, it's worth 10 points. What colorful alliterative phrase refers to the zombie-like monsters in the TV series Game of Thrones? 
The answer is white walkers. All right, here's your extra question. What two word alliterative phrase that starts with a color refers to a paper container that you might pack your lunch in? Yes, Alexa. Lunch bag? Incorrect, Daniel. Brown bag. Brown bag is correct. Pine starter, we are with you. The answers to the following bonus questions are all alliterative phrases that start with a color. Bonus question number one. In Spanish, what food item would be called frijoles negros? Daniel. Black beans. Very good. Bonus question number two. What CBS drama stars Donnie Wahlberg, Bridget Moynihan, and Tom Selleck as members of a family of police officers? The answer is Blue Bloods. Bonus question number three. Probably originating in the Palace Hotel in San Francisco, what colorful salad dressing, typically consisting of mayonnaise, sour cream, anchovy, lemon juice, pepper, and the herbs chervil, chives, and tarragon? It's called the Green Goddess Dressing. All right, my last two to joust are Zachary and Akash. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. Ranked number 43 on the American Film Institute's list of the 100 greatest American movies of all time, what 1933 film is about a giant ape that falls in love with a human? Yes, Zachary? King Kong. Yes, very good. We are now with Jupiter. The following bonus questions all deal with other movies on the AFI's list. Starting with bonus question number one. Number 34 on the list is this movie, based on a novel by Harper Lee, which stars Gregory Peck as Atticus Fitch. Yes, Alexa? To Kill a Mockingbird. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. Both the first and second entries in this series of mafia movies directed by Francis Ford Coppola appear on the list. Zachary. The Godfather. Yes, very good. The third bonus question. Number 53 on the list is what biopic titled for the middle name of this main character, Wolfgang Mozart? The answer is Amadeus. All right, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We still have Pembroke Pines Charters leading. They have 80 points. Jupiter has 50 points. And we will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. Well, what's Broward High School? We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. The Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens.
Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Duel, where local high schools match wits. Today's game has Jupiter competing against Pembroke Pines Charter School, and currently Pembroke Pines Charter is leading. They have 80 points, and Jupiter has 50 points. All right, it's now time for the rapid action round, and during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since Jupiter is trailing, they get to go first, while Pembroke Pines Charter waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now today's category is starts with D as in Delta. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter D as in Delta. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Jupiter, cue music and let's begin. Class of drugs that slow down brain activity. Baseball term for getting two outs on one hit. Zachary. Double play. Author of Oliver Twist and David Copperfield. Wild Australian dog that actually does not eat babies very often. Zachary. Dingo. Car company that makes the Challenger and the Charger. Zachary. Dodge. Colorado metropolis nicknamed the Mile High City. Zachary. Denver. Maui, Heracles, or Percy Jackson, for instance. Demigods. Breed of dog, sometimes called a wiener dog. Zachary. Dachshund. The D in the business phrase R and D. Zachary. Develop. Four letter word for money you owe to someone else. Sydney. Debt. Very good, Jupiter, we got through all of your questions. So let's hear it for Jupiter High. And now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Pembroke Pines Charter. And welcome back, Pembroke Pines Charter. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is, starts with D as in Delta. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter D as in Delta. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So Pines Charter, Cue music and let's begin. Class of drugs that slow down brain activity. Akash. Dopamine. Baseball term for getting two outs on one hit. Akash. Um, double. Author of Oliver Twist and David Copperfield. Wild Australian dog that actually does not eat babies very often. Yes, Daniel. Dingo. Car company that makes the Challenger and the Charger. Nikhil. Dodge. Colorado Metropolis, nicknamed the Mile High City. Denver. Yes. Maui, Heracles, or Percy Jackson, for instance. Yes, Akash. Demigods. Breed of dog, sometimes called a wiener dog. Daniel. Dachshund. The D in the business phrase R and D. Nikhil. Development. Four letter word for money you owe to someone else. Akash. Debt. All right, very good. Very, very good. Both teams give it up for Pines Charter. There was only one question that both teams missed. Actually, two questions that both teams missed. Class of drugs that slow down brain activity, depressants or downers. And the author of Oliver Twist and David Copperfield is Charles Dickens. All right, that horn means the end of the rapid action round. We do have Pines Charter still leading. They have 160 points. Jupiter has 120 points. But let's take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good every single time. You bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy. That perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is.
I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Duel and we've got a good game going. We did adjust the score for Pembroke Pines Charter over the break because the answer of double was not accepted. Our current score is 150 points with Pembroke Pines Charter to Jupiter's 120 points. It is now time for the final showdown and this is the last round. Our schools go against each other again with toss up questions, but this time these questions are worth 20 points each. Now just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. So this is for the win. It's time for the final showdown. Your first question deals with the Founding Fathers. What man, now famously portrayed on Broadway, was one Alexa? Hamilton. Novels. What Jules Verne novels title refers to the distance traveled by the crew? Zachary? 20,000 leagues under the sea. Phrases. What word forms common two-word phrases when it comes before shop or gun and when it comes after slot or vending. Zachary. Machine. Anatomy. What type of cell in the human eye is more sensitive to light? Zachary. The neuroreceptor. Incorrect. Pines Charter. Anatomy. What type of cell in the human eye is more sensitive to light but less sensitive to color than cone cells and allows us to see in the dark? Nikhil. Retina. Incorrect. They're rods. Sports. In soccer, lacrosse and hockey, what position is the last line of defense? Yes, Akash? Goalkeeper. Scientist, what German scientist's first law says that planetary orbits are Zachary? Uh, Charter, what German scientist's first law says that planetary orbits are elliptical? Yes, Nikhil? Kepler. Musical notation. Indicating that a note should be raised one half step, what musical notation resembles the pound sign? Zachary? Sharp. Ancient history. Hannibal augmented his army with elephants when he attempted to conquer what empire? Zachary? The Holy Roman Empire. Integers. What integer is closest in value to the irrational number pi? Zachary? Three. Architects. Eight of his buildings are considered UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Name this architect known for prairie-style homes like Falling Water. Alexa. Um, he also did the River Fall. Oh, yeah. Pembroke Pines Charter. His name is Frank Lloyd Wright. Jewelry. What piece of jewelry is most associated with graduations, engagements, and weddings? Yes, Akash? Ring. Mythology. In Greek mythology, what titan held the heavens up on his shoulders? Akash? Atlas. Fast math, how many millimeters are in 15 meters? Uh, Zachary. Uh, 1,500. Incorrect. Pines Charter. Akash. 15,000. State capitals. What state capital is home to both Southern University and Louisiana State University? Zachary. Uh, Baton Rouge. European history. Elizabethan drama is associated with what country? Akash. UK. Music. How many eight notes are in one measure of three-fourths time in music? The answer is six. 
literature, E.B. White says he was inspired to write what book? Both because he wanted to save a pig's life and because he, yes, Nikhil? Charlotte Webb. The 1770s. In 1770, what black man was the first person to be killed in the Boston Massacre? His name is Crispus Attucks. Video games. What spiny blue character is a mascot? Yes, Zachary? Sonic. Famous names. Born Karen Elaine Johnson. What woman won a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for Ghost and a Daytime Emmy for the talk show The View? Yes, Akash. Ellen. Incorrect, Jupiter. Whoopi Goldberg. Very good. Literary characters, what title character encounters the March Hare, the Queen of Hearts, the White Rabbit? Yes, Alexa? Alice. Egypt, the tomb of King Tut was found in what aptly named area in Egypt where many, yes, Akash? Cairo. Incorrect, Jupiter. And it was where many other pharaoh's tombs are also located. Zachary. Giza. Incorrect, it's the Valley of the Kings. Biology, in biology, the citrus acid cycle takes place in what cell organelle that produces ATP as part of Daniel? Mitochondria. Very good, and that sound brings an end to this school duel game. What a close game. Jupiter came from behind. They are ending with 320 points. Pembroke Pines Charter is ending with 310 points. Congratulations to Jupiter. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. And great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. This was an awesome game. At this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And of course, you at home for watching, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and you can watch past shows. And please remember to hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Coral Springs High takes on Everglades High and what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.